So last week I was watching Tom Aspinall, Aspinall I hope I said that correctly, English heavyweight fighter absolutely dominate his fight in England. And I thought he looked so agile and so good for the heavyweight division. I thought he looks unstoppable. And then I wake up this morning and I see Derek Lewis land that devastating scissor kick knee. Wow. Like I said, I thought Tom was gonna be one of the most agile fighters in the UFC, heavyweight, but I did not expect that at all. That scissor kick knockout, or well, I say knockout, knocked down what led to the stoppage of the fight after ground and pound from Derek Lewis. That takes some serious skill, especially for someone that big. That was a devastating knockout. He literally, the bell rung, and come forward into the middle, and he literally come at quite a fast pace coming forward into the middle, and then he just lifted that rear knee up, jumped forward, and landed with the lead knee. So as again, so they're coming in forward, they're coming in, he shoves up, boom! Absolute devastating knockout, and landed perfect. The thing with jumping knees is they're in the category of what you call high risk, high reward. So what they mean is it's a high risk move, takes a lot of energy to do, but there's massive reward if you land it because it's such a powerful move. But the thing with the jumping knee is, although it takes a lot of energy, it's not actually that risky. I uh, Michael Venom Page break this down once. Because you're jumping in the air, it's not like they're going to often be able to hit you in the face because you've jumped up, so they'd have to reach up for the face. Plus, you've still got your hand you can put into position to help protect yourself whilst you come in and land that knee. So that's why I think the jumping and scissor knee is definitely an effective move. And if you're training in MMA, you should definitely be, if you can, practice it on the pads. It's not really a move you can practice in sparring safely. But definitely get your pad man, hold a pad up. So you can practice, boom, get it some nice height. Just remember as well, you've got these hands free, yeah? So you can come up and you can also brace your hands out on their hand, wherever they are, to help prevent them punching you. As you jump in forward, and the hands out, boom, to land that scissor knee. So come up, bang, as you're landing that scissor knee to the face. So I just thought I'd quickly give that fight a little breakdown because like I said, that was um, for such a big fella, Tremendous athleticism, and there could be a potentially really good fight between him, uh, David Lewis, and Tom Aspinall in the future. I think Tom may have the cardio and slightly better skill set, but definitely think that the power goes to Lewis. So, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know who you think would win that fight. And if you like this breakdown, check out some of these other videos for other breakdowns. And I'll see you all soon.